Okay, I have a picture that I have two of them uh, of the Gray family. It shows Nani Gray, Ida Gray. We called him Dude Gray, it was Charles Gray, and then Dolly Gray. This is quite unique, there's only two pictures I have of Dude. Both of them in his army outfit on the same day here. And there's another one of him and his mother, Ida. And then there's a little clipping that says, Gray, Private Robert Gray, Iwako Company, 542, Second Engineers, Killed in Action, New Guinea, May 22nd, 1944. So that's what happened to dude. And he I have quite a couple of stories to tell on him. There's a guy in Iwako named Mo Grimm, and he's kind of, every town has a guy like him. Doesn't matter where you go across the whole United States. Knows everybody, been everywhere. He knows everything. Nice guy and everything. I don't think he tells too many lies, <laughs> but that's the kind of guy he was. And he told me this story on Dude Gray. And one of the guy's fathers made Mountain Dew, <laughs> White Lightning, and they stole a quart of it, and they got all drunk up, about four of them. And so they're going to pull a trick on Dude, so across from the Iwako Hospital in Iwako is a morgue. <laughs> I'll tell you a little about that morgue later on. But they took him in the morgue, took him downstairs, laid him on a slab down there. They left a light on, and there was <laughs> a corpse on the other slab. And then he went up across the street by the hospital there and waited to see what happened when he woke up. <laughs> According to the story, I guess a dude told him he wanted a cigarette and he had the guy there next to him. He said, hey, buddy, give me a match. You got a match? And he reached over and touched the guy and he was all cold and I guess he'd come running out of that Morgan down the street. I'll kill you guys. I'll kill you guys. I'll kill you guys. And he ran all the way down the street. That was the story Mo Grimm told me. Now here's a story that I know is really true, for sure. Dude Gray was quite a ball player. He was 6'5". In them days, the 6'5 was a big man. And uh, Walker won the Pacific County basketball, and so they went to district. I don't remember where district was. And they drew the best team in the state, but they didn't know it at the time. They got beat by two or three points. And dude made 18 points, and he was picked all-conference in that one game he played. And that team went on and took the state, so they were a pretty good team. And he was a heck of a basketball player. So those are those two pictures of the Gray family. Now I have a bunch of them. This picture, Ida. Uh, let's see what it says on the back. Don't say anything, but it's a nice picture of her out in the sun probably in Portland, Oregon. Here's an earlier one of her. Ida Gray taken on an ocean beach near Canby, Washington. I'd say she's probably 20 something, maybe 23 or 4. Okay, here's another one that we put in here that uh, has Nani, your guy's dad. There's Chuck Bacon alongside him. And then there's Pauline, what we call her sister because Barquist, because Auntie there, her name was Pauline too. And there's Myrtle, which was Myrtle Saunders later on down the line, but those two gals were sisters, Barquist sisters. And uh, I don't know what occasion that is, it was of course I just, it must be some kind of wedding or something, maybe it's Nani's wedding, I don't know. There's a picture of uh, Ida and Auntie sitting in Auntie's house on Davenport there. No name or ear or nothing. Picture of Ida and my mom, nothing again. I don't know where it's taken, just one's there out there. And then there's a picture here of uh, my mom, and that's Nani Gray. It says, Aunt Ellen Bacon, Charles Gray Nani, taken at Fort Camby, Washington. Little art pebbles or something behind me, 1919 or 1920. That shows a picture of Nani Gray. And uh, 
Here's another picture of Nani Gray when he was little there. Probably a little bit bigger in that picture that he was in there. And then uh, this one's the uh, other picture that we have of uh, Melvin hiding his face there. They're pretty small. Cousin Melvin hiding his face behind Charles and Bob Gray. Not very clear. So there's Dude and there's Nani and there's Melvin. And then there's a picture. This is a pretty old picture, but I know who it is and they're down. I can see from the dock there. I got a pretty good memory on that stuff. That's down there by Fort, or the, uh, not Fort. <laughs> That's Keystone and uh, CRPA dock there. And it shows Ida in bathing suit sitting on a stump or something, an old log. And Auntie and my mom. So there's Helen, Pauline, and Ida. No picture taken of age or when it was taken, but they're pretty young. There's another one of the same, same three gals, but a little bit later on. Quite a bit later on. This is probably in the 60s. Mom and Auntie and Ida. Here's one that's kind of faded, and uh, uh, my granddaughter Anna made a real nice picture of this on the computer. It's a picture of Ida. It's really enhanced that picture. And here's a picture of Ida, and uh, might have some right. Yeah, it does. Ida Gray taken in Portland, Oregon, 1962. And here's uh, the Grays. It must be a, yeah, a Christmas card. No writing on it, just a gray. So Steve Gray, Chris Gray, and I don't remember the little guy's name. They're holding a shotgun. He's holding a bunch of ducks. And here's the last picture of the grays that I have. And uh, I, this is documented. It says, Cousins, Chris Gray and Gerald Simmons. May 1975. That's very good. And it is a good picture. And that's all of the grays.